uh, now at the uh, northern end of Africa, passing over the Mediterranean Sea, uh, approaching uh, Greece. Those, the information relayed from uh, Paolo Nespoli and, uh, and from Andreas Mogensen to Paolo Nespoli, uh, going through those procedures at the 30-meter holding point, uh, getting everything situated and prepared for them to be, be ready to uh, capture the dragon once it uh, approaches its capture position. Uh, that being about 10, 12, uh, give or take a few meters away from the International Space Station, uh, just enough distance to uh, uh, put the uh, SSRMS or the uh, station's robotic arm into motion to grab the dragon. The International Space Station and Dragon now passing over the home country of Paolo Nespoli, uh, Italy. You can just see the boot uh, at the uh, top of your screen there. You're looking at sort of an upside-down view of the Earth as the International Space Station and Dragon travel 17,500 miles uh, above the Earth, zooming around uh, just 253 statute miles above the Earth right now. Plenty of uh, science experiments on board. Uh, we talked about the CREAM experiment that will be looking at cosmic ray particles, as well as uh, experiments dealing with protein crystal growth. Uh, in addition, there will be some also uh, nanosatellites, or more appropriately, microsatellites. Uh, an experiment called Kestrel I will be uh, testing microsatellite uh, capability. Uh, investigation uh, is looking to validate the concept of microsatellites uh, for critical operations, such as providing lower cost Earth imagery and time sensitive uh, situations, such as uh, tracking severe weather and detecting natural disasters. Here's the station on uh, step three for. Uh Procedure 1.110, we are about to proceed with the auto sequence.